Hi everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your card reading for the week starting the 21st of March. This is the reading for Taurus and I'm using my teacup tarot deck. So this is a general reading for a really positive week. So your overall energy here is the card, the Queen of Coins. The Queen of Coins brings with her the beautiful qualities of home life, family life. She's very successful at what she does. She's very practical and she's very resourceful. And she makes sure that everybody who comes within her orbit is well cared for and feels loved and cherished. So this queen here personifies someone who can get jobs done. She's practical, she's homo and family oriented. She's very resourceful. She can turn her hand to anything and do a really good job. So using those qualities of practicality and resourcefulness will stand you in good stead this week. Our help or our hurdle, we have card number 18, the moon. And this card reminds you that the answers lie within. Our lovely angel here, look, she's lighting her way along her path. She's trusting her intuition there. She has it written on the belt of her dress. And the full moon is out. And the full moon is also lighting her path. So this card also tells us that there might be new information coming to light. It reminds us just to make sure that we have all the information that we need and to go within and trust how we feel about something before we make our next step forward. And when we do those things, the path ahead of us will be much, much clearer and easy to follow. Our guidance here, we have the card, the Knight of Teacups. Now, the knights in the deck all are riding motorbikes and the Knight of Teacups is coming charging in here. And the message that the knight brings is to stay balanced, stay emotionally balanced. Don't go rushing into things too quickly. And our lovely knight here, on the motorbike, there's gravel spraying up off the wheel. If, if she goes too fast, she's going to wobble. So this card says, stay balanced. The teacups are about emotions and how you feel. Stay emotionally balanced. Don't go rushing into things. Make sure that you've got all the information. How can we help ourselves? We have the card, the Knight of Coins, two knights in one reading. Now, the Knight of Coins also has a motorcycle, motorbike, but she's the only one that isn't actually riding it because she's checking the map. Now, the Knight of Coins is the card of planning, making sure that you have all the information you need. Here it is again. Our lovely angel here, look, she's studying the map, she's having a break. So when she gets back on the motorbike, she knows exactly where she's going and she knows exactly how to get there. So this is the card of plan A, plan B and plan C, getting organised and then being ready to go after what it is that you would like. Pulling it all together, we have the Page of Pencils card. Now the page cards are all messengers and they all bring an envelope on the picture of the cards. And the Page of Pencils card reminds you that there might be slight changes to plan, slight changes of direction, but this information is here to help you. The page of pencils can sometimes be a little bit direct and a little bit tactless in her dealings with other people. But listen to the message, not the messenger. 
So there might be some slight changes to plans, there might be some slight deviations, but it's all helpful information. It's all here to help you. And it's all for you just to gather this information together, ready for your move forward. And your final card, the Ten of Wands, asks you to stop and have a break. The Ten of Wands says the difficult time is over with. You may well have had a very busy time recently. And if you have, the Ten of Wands says that's over with now. That's the end of the busy time, the stressful time. So now rest, relax, just take that break. And when you do, you will have a clear head. You'll gather the information that you need ready for this move forward. So just to summarise, use the qualities of practicality and resourcefulness. You can do this. Make sure that you've got all the information that you need and do what feels right. When you follow your intuition, follow that inner guidance, the path will become much clearer. Stay balanced, stay focused. Don't go rushing into things too quickly and make a detailed plan. Make sure you know exactly what you're doing. Make sure you know exactly where you're going and then be ready for that swift move forward. Take into account any new information coming in this week about perhaps changes to plans, a slight deviation. Don't worry. These are keeping you on track and know that the busy times are over, the most challenging times are over. Rest, relax, clear your head, and then this move forward will be simple, it will be easy, and it can come in quite quickly for you. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button, make the bell ring, then you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now, and I'll see you soon.